welcome to another episode of Deadly Destinations, where we talk about the spooky, strange, and unusual. Today, we'll be looking at the Gold Brook Covered Bridge in Stowe, Vermont. It's also known as Emily's Bridge. The bridge was built in 1844. It crosses Gold Brook on Gold Brook Road. Horse-drawn carriages and foot traffic were the original intentions of the bridge, but it later gained a frightful reputation. One of the most prominent legends surrounding Emily's Bridge revolves around a young woman named Emily. According to the story, Emily was deeply in love with a man from a neighboring town. They planned to meet at the bridge one fateful night to elope. However, her lover failed to appear. Heartbroken and despondent, Emily hanged herself from the rafters of the bridge. Well, now we have a bridge. I don't think we've done a bridge yet. I don't think so. I don't think we have. We had um, the Crybaby Holler Bridge. Well, this should be interesting. Mm -hmm. I did look up the bridge and it's really cool looking. And it looks like it's like in the woods and it just looks very serene and relaxing. So it doesn't look like, you know, it'd be a scary place. Yep. It is said that the alleged ghost of Emily remains at the bridge. Many who have crossed the bridge reported seeing a ghostly apparition in a white dress. This is believed to be Emily. Visitors to the bridge reported seeing her attempting to scratch at the car as they drive by. Some even reported being physically harmed by scratches. This isn't all. Many people have had experiences such as hearing disembodied voices from inside the tunnel, feeling extremely uneasy, and cold spots. Additionally, there have been accounts of disembodied hands reaching out from the bridge to touch unsuspecting passers-by. Is this the ghost of Emily stuck in limbo or another otherworldly entity? Man. You never know. You never know what could have happened on that bridge. I'm sure there's more than one story. Probably. Right? It's just the Emily story that's the most popular. The haunted nature of the bridge naturally has attracted many ghost hunters and paranormal researchers in the attempt to capture proof of the ghostly patron. Electronic voice phenomenon recordings have been around Emily's bridge capturing unexplained voices or whispers when no one else is present. Additionally, visitors have reported electronic devices malfunctioning near the bridge, with cameras malfunctioning or draining batteries rapidly. It's a heck of a bridge. <laughs> I know. I know. Like I said, I've seen pictures of it, and it's just so pretty. And just Is it long? No, it's just a nice wooden bridge in like in a wooded area. It's really gorgeous looking. Hmm. I'm sure at night it's probably spooky in the woods and stuff. But I mean. We need to take a trip to Vermont. Mm. Many individuals who have visited Emily's Bridge have described a strong feeling of being watched or followed. Some have experienced a sensation of being touched or pushed, while others have reported hearing footsteps or rustling sounds nearby. However, some skeptics argue that the reports of hauntings are merely the result of urban legends and psychological suggestion. Nevertheless, the bridge continues to attract both thrill seekers and curious individuals interested in the supernatural. If you're looking for a frightful adventure, Emily's Bridge would be the perfect location for you. This isn't for the faint of heart, though. Maybe Emily's ghost will appear and give you an out-of-world experience. All right, well, thank you for joining us on this episode of Deadly Destinations, and we will see you next week for another spooky destination. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next week.